government had incentivized the different public schools to play the challenger in their classroom. So they rolled their TV sets out. They had all the children sit down and get ready to watch it. And 20% of the American public watched the challenger event happen live. And within one hour, 80% of Americans had seen the challenger tragedy happen. So just like with 9-11, they have everyone see this traumatic event. And then we're all in unison that we're traumatized. And when it blew up, it was a form of uh, trauma-based mind control that you know some people will never grow out of. And then the emotions kick in and you're unable to think logically about what's going on. Of course this was planned. They made every school show this event live. They wanted these kids to grow up defending this tragedy. Think about how many field trips come here, unfortunately. Yeah. And they go in and watch that Heroes and Legends thing, and they come out thinking that yes. this is the greatest possible hero that they could ever be. And that's just, they're actors. <laughs> and we're building them up higher than your father, police, military, all these people that are actual heroes. Right. These are actors working for a government agency. So. Next. Hello. Hi. I'm going to get one of these signed, if that's all right. My name is Justin. Justin? Yes. I-N? Yes, with an I-N. Where are you from, Justin? Orlando. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not far. Or not too far. No, I'm okay on a picture, but thank you. I do have a question, though. Sometimes when we're watching the uh, ISS footage, you'll see the uh, astronauts sometimes connected to, like, wires and harnesses. Is that to keep them, like, in the frame during the broadcast, or what's the reason for that? No, I haven't actually... You mean while they're inside the shuttle? Yeah, like when they're inside the ISS, sometimes during the feeds, the broadcast, you'll see kind of yes, it, pulling I'm, on their belts or something like I that. I bet that is. I have, like I bet that. that is. I have, I have not personally seen that. Oh, really? But I know that they, you know, they try to be still when they're doing, right. talking to someone, and then they usually try to release them. Like yeah, because like I've seen the yeah. flip before and it almost looked like a foot was caught like inside something, but there was nothing really there. It was really strange. Uh -huh. I didn't know if there was something to kind of like hold them in place or something. We Next. never had anything like oh, that, okay. but they may have learned over time that it was hard to stay still when they yeah. came up with something. Did you, um, did you ever think the public Ready? would find out that all the spacewalks were filmed underwater? Thanks, sir. <laughs> <laughs> did you have any comment on that? Well, we train underwater. Oh, okay. But only training? Only training. Okay. Most of the public have no idea that the ISS is located in an underwater neutral buoyancy lab in Houston, Texas. The space station footage that they trick us with is...